Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. So are you looking at purchasing your first ring planner? Or maybe you already have one and you're looking at buying another one? Well, I have put together five things that you may want to think about or consider before buying a ring planner. So if you would like to see what those things are, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to take into consideration when deciding on a ring planner is the size of the planner. So there are many different sizes to choose from. For example, this one over here is in A5, and this is a personal. And as you can see, there is a huge difference when it comes to the size of the planners. Now, uh, when looking at the size of the planner, there are two things that you will want to think about. The first thing that you want to think about is the portability of the planner. So for example, will this planner fit inside of your handbag? So this is the handbag that you will need to carry, for example, to work or, uh, you know, if you're out and about running errands. So, you know, if your uh, planner does not fit in your handbag, that is something you want to think about because then you may be looking at extra charges for buying uh, a bigger bag. So again, that is the first thing that you'll want to think about. The second thing that you'll want to think about when it comes to the planner size is the size of the inserts. So just to give you an example, this is the same dashboard in A5 and in personal. So as you can see, when I compare these two, uh, you know, there is a big difference again. So when it comes to insert sizes, uh, there is a reference guide if you go on to the Infinite Lotus website. On the left hand side, when you select uh, under the menu, you will see the size guide. And from there, you can see the dimensions of the different planner sizes. So what I would recommend that uh, you do is you can either cut uh, you know, paper down to that size, or you can print off some freebies that are available uh, from some planner shops or from some Instagram accounts. I can link some freebies in the description box below for you guys. And basically what this does is it allows you to test out or try the different insert sizes before going ahead and purchasing your ring planner. This way you can try out to see if you have enough writing space. So this will in turn help you to decide on the planner size that will work best for you. All right, so moving on to the second thing that you'll want to think about, and that is the material that the ring planner is made of. So whether that is leather, like this one over here, or canvas like this one over here. There are also some vegan as well as plastic planner covers uh, that you can purchase as well. So that just goes to show that you do have uh, quite a few different options when looking at the material that your ring planner is made up of. And the reason why it's very important to think about the material that the planner is made of is the fact that there are materials that are more durable than others. Now, I can't speak for um, you know some of the other, like the plastic, uh, planners or the vegan since I haven't tried them, but I can definitely speak uh, for the uh, textured leather as well as the coated canvas. These are very, very durable planners. Uh, you know, you don't see any scratches or anything like that. So I feel very comfortable carrying these planners with me on the go. I know that uh, they will last a long time as well. Uh, my Filofax Pebbled planner is also very durable. So all in all, uh, the material that your planner is made up of is something very important that you will also need to think about before um, purchasing your ring planner. And the third thing that you will want to consider is your budget. So how much are you willing to spend on a ring planner? Uh, prices definitely vary when it comes to uh, ring planners. For example, this A5, you're looking at uh, probably spending about a hundred Canadian dollars. Keep in mind that I do purchase my Filofax planners from Amazon, where sometimes they tend to be a little bit cheaper. So you're looking again at a hundred Canadian dollars versus uh, these planners from Louis Vuitton, which can cost up to 600 Canadian dollars. You can definitely purchase some planners from the pre-loved market or from, uh, you know, sellers on Facebook or Instagram where you can purchase the planners at a lower price. So it all depends on how much you are willing uh, to put towards funding for your new uh, ring planner. All right, and moving on to the fourth thing that you'll want to think about, and that is the planner accessories 
or supplies that you'll want to use inside of your planner. Now, some planner covers do come with uh, dividers as well as page markers, just like the uh, Filofax planner that I purchased from Amazon. It did come with uh, some inserts, some uh, weekly inserts, some note paper. It also did come with a uh, page marker. So I will actually link the unboxing video in the description box below for you guys so that you can see exactly uh, what comes with this planner when you purchase it. So again, that is something to think about because there are planners like the Louis Vuitton uh, planner covers that actually don't come with any inserts whatsoever. Basically, you are just paying for a planner cover. So again, that is... Is, uh, additional expenses that you will have to think about because you do want to fill your planner up with some inserts and some uh, planner supplies and planner accessories. So with that being said, of course, you will be saving money if you go with a planner that already comes with uh, built-in accessories and supplies. All right, and moving on to the uh, final thing that you'll want to uh, think about when purchasing a ring planner is the pocket configuration. So there are so many different options when it comes to the uh, inside pockets of your planner. Some uh, companies or some shops actually also allow you to customize how you want the inside um, of your planner to look like. So for example, the Louis Vuitton monogram has the six card slots. You also have a pocket over here and a secretarial pocket in the back. Now, if you compare that with the um, Epi leather planner, the pocket configuration is different. Uh, these pockets here are a little bit more narrow so that you have space to add uh, something inside of this side pocket over here. And then you also do have a secretarial pocket in the back, and that's where I keep my little notebook from Tidbits Planners. So uh, again, you know, the pocket configuration is very important because it all depends on what you want to carry inside of your planner. You know, do you want uh, a zipper like this one over here? It has a zipper on the side so that you know your stuff is secure in here. It's not going to fall out. There are also planners that have a back pocket. Now, I don't have any planners with a back pocket. And the reason why I don't is because I found the back pockets to be uh, a little bulky. And uh, when I would set my planner on a desk or on a flat surface, the uh, planner was a little bit wobbly because of the back pocket. Now, I know that some planners will stay lay flat, but uh, again, that is something to think about because with a back pocket, you do have additional storage space. Um, you know, if you want to put bills or uh, any reference material, you can do that as well. So very important to think about how you want your pocket configurations to look like. Do you want, uh, for example, uh, two pens? loops where you can put uh, a highlighter and a pen. So all of this is very important uh, to think about when you are uh, ready to go ahead and purchase your ring planner. All right, you guys, so that is it for my five things that uh, I would highly recommend that you guys consider before going ahead and purchasing your next ring planner. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.